guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new i got engaged if you guys didn't know i've been completely mia on this channel and also just on instagram the entire weekend and start of the week today's tuesday i haven't been on instagram or youtube or updated any social media since literally friday which for the normal person that's probably like not even a big deal but for me someone who's on social media every single day uh it was like a really much needed break here's a look at my ring for you guys if you have not seen it yet if you don't follow me on instagram i'm so excited a lot of you guys thought that i predicted this but i was actually expecting this to happen during our vacation next week which is why i took my acrylic nails off because i was wanting to get them done fresh for vacation because i just figured that's when it was going to happen and then it happened before that which is totally okay i was so excited and so not expecting it so it actually worked out perfect but but um, that's why I don't have my acrylic nails on even though you know I got the ring without my acrylics it's fine I was so excited and I'm glad it was a surprise but I'm not gonna get too much into it in this vlog because I want to make my own separate video all about the engagement I want to insert pictures videos from the day and then maybe do like a Q&A like was I expecting it how long we waited to date before we decided to you know get engaged um, how it went with him getting the ring you know like deciding the ring getting my ring size just like a whole thing i feel like that would be fun to do a video on so all the details will be coming soon today i'm just doing a rainy day vlog because we just had a it was like a tropical storm slash category one hurricane pass through and so it's been like super rainy all day yesterday and it's going to continue today even though the worst of the storm has already passed um so i just thought i'd do a rainy day vlog <music> I have a couple errands to run. I'm in the Starbucks drive-thru right now and it is so gloomy outside, but sometimes I like a rainy day and I feel like today is one of those days I just don't mind it. It's, it's kind of nice. Definitely doesn't make me want to leave the house even though I am leaving the house today, but like, I don't know. It's, it's a mood. I'm gonna get myself a hot coffee because I never drink hot coffee, but when it's cold or it's raining, I love a hot coffee. Hello, can I please get a grande hot coffee do you guys have blonde roast yeah okay um can i do the blonde roast with like three sugars and cream all right no problem for me 282 i'll see you tomorrow thank you i'm so happy they have blonde roast still i mean i guess it is still the morning time but it's late morning and they usually stop serving blonde roast i should have got a pumpkin bed it's too late now hey how are you hi again how are you good no i like your pumpkin okay. thank you my favorite colors. Yes, you too. I get compliments on my phone case all the time since I switched to this one, the like butterfly one. I always get compliments on it. And I mean, I can see why it's really freaking cute. Also the discount, wait, do I have a discount code with them? Yeah, I do have a discount code with them. I will leave it in the description. Cheers, got my coffee finally and this is so good, honestly, I'm getting very much fall vibes from this weather right now, just making me want like pumpkin spice or something, even though fall is many months away. I mean, I guess it's not that far, but it's like the beginning of July. Anyways, don't mind my hair. It is something else right now. This is like a combination of rain getting on my hair and sleeping in it in a bun, and it's like a little bit of everything right now. It's dirty. <laughs> whatever though i feel like in all honesty it looks better down right now because of the waves like it doesn't look that bad even though it's messy so many of you guys in my last vlog when i was like predicting that i was going to get engaged i was not predicting this at all i thought i was going to get engaged on my trip which is next week we're going to georgia it's going to be a nice road trip and we're staying in a cabin for a week and i'm like so excited for this vacation but that's what I was predicting, you guys. I thought it was gonna happen on vacation, which is why I took a break from my acrylics. I got them off because I wanted a fresh set for my vacation in case I got a ring, which obviously I'm not mad about it at all. Would I have liked to have my acrylics on? Of course, but it was more important to me that it was a surprise and I had no idea that it was coming because he did it before our vacation. So that was crazy to me, but now I am gonna finally go and get my acrylics back on and I'm so excited because I just feel like my ring is gonna be really popping with my acrylics back on. Um, um, having my little short nails is fine you know but like 
they're chipping already and I just need my claws back. salon and oh my gosh it feels so good to have my regular nails back and I decided to go to a square shape instead of my usual round shape it's kind of like a squared coffin though because it's like goes a little bit in but I'm obsessed I just did a nude like French fade I guess that's what this is called so pretty with the ring and these are the nails that I wanted when I got engaged but that's fine it happened and i'm just happy that i have a ring now guys i ordered this artwork on etsy for chad and it came in to put in his office you guys know he's a huge fan of the office so i like to get him really unique artwork of this one of dwight and angela it's freaking hilarious i'm obsessed and then i also got him this dayman sticker which is from one of our favorite shows it's always sunny in philadelphia um if you guys ever watched that let me know we used to watch it years ago and this was like one of the skits in the show it was hilarious i got him the stickers he likes to put these stickers on his little box crate thingy that he carries his gear in for work so i got him that and then they also sent this which is super cool too okay i have something super exciting to show you guys i got engaged on the beach and right after i got engaged my soon-to-be sister-in-law gave me a couple of gifts including this little tote bag that says bride and then a t-shirt and she also got me a wedding planner and i was so freaking excited when she handed me this because you guys know i'm just like obsessed with planning your wedding vision fundamentals timeline like guest planning i mean it is like so oh my gosh you guys there's literally sand in this yes it was given to me at the beach vendors and venues this is like everything i'm gonna work on during our road trip to be honest with you because we're gonna have a very long road trip next week when we head to georgia staying in the mountains and they'll just be like the perfect time for chad and i to start wedding planning <music> way later now it's almost 10 30 which means it is the best time of the day bedtime book time time to go to sleep i look forward to going to sleep every single day it's my favorite thing in the world is getting in bed and sleeping <laughs> that sounds so depressing but seriously i just love sleep i don't even think i'm gonna end the vlog here i feel like i'll probably just vlog tomorrow and make it two days you guys seem to enjoy when i like carry the vlog out through a couple days so good night for now
it was really peaceful. I made coffee, I had my breakfast, and then I took a nice long shower. I washed my hair, blow dried, and straightened it so I have fresh, clean hair. And usually when I wash my hair, I'm very lazy and I will just let it dry and be all frizzy, but I actually blow dried and straightened it and I have very clean hair. And we're in the Kia right now because we just dropped off my car to get an oil change and a tire rotation. And brakes. I'm getting new brakes? Yeah. Front oh, brakes. I forgot. Okay. Yeah, and new brakes. Great. I hate spending money on my car. But yeah, we just dropped that off because I have to have all that done because we're taking my car for our road trip. I'm at the laser lounge spa now, about to get the chemical peel on my tattoo. As you guys know, I'm having a hard time getting these pigments to lighten up, so they suggested doing a chemical peel. I'm here with Andrew, and he's gonna be doing my chemical peel today. Solution, so this is just gonna take away any of the acids, anything that might be in the way of the chemical peel, or could not make it lift as much. Okay, so we are prepping the tattoo. With our Neova products. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, those are amazing. That's what Love I've been using. This is the chemical peel we're going to be doing today. Oh, cool. Okay. Yes. And so we'll 20%. Probably, we'll probably, I want to do about four passes if you can handle it. So we'll oh. see how you do. Wait, how does that work? Like you're going to pour it on there. So here it is. It's in then... this little jar here. I'm put this in, soak it, and then I'll press out any of the extra. Then I'll come over here and I'll actually scrub it really and then hard it'll sit, or? and then I'll sit and see how you react and then if you can handle it I'll keep going and I'll keep going and I'll keep going oh god all right we'll see how you do <laughs> okay I'm scared I'm not gonna lie I'm scared <laughs> nothing to be scared about it's gonna burn getting acid on my arm no big deal all for beauty beauty is pain <laughs> okay we just did about three passes with the TCA and as you can see it's starting to frost and it is burning really bad but it's like nothing compared to the um, laser so this is something I can handle but all of the frosting is good that means that it's reached the pigment and the goal here is that it's gonna lift the pigment up a few layers so that way when I do my next laser treatment it will actually be able to reach the pigment I survived my chemical peel and they told me that the plan from here on out is to do a chemical peel in between every laser session so two weeks from today i will be going back for my next regular laser session and hopefully it goes okay but this was not that bad um it was burning really bad at the end where i didn't actually record um but i survived they put a neutralizer on it at the end and then a bunch of creams and just kind of like patch it up it's actually like a wet cloth over top and it was not that bad really hoping this helps me get some results. Back in the car now, it's a little bit later. Chad just went to his CrossFit class and I just got in the Kia, which you guys know every time I get in this car, this is my old car. I always like am reminded of how far I've come and I'm not too embarrassed to admit that I was literally just sitting here looking for the button to press to turn on the car when I had to put the key in the freaking ignition. Wait, this is an Apple CarPlay. I just got to the outlet mall and I'm just gonna go into a couple stores to see if I can find some clothes for next week on our vacation. I just wanna get a couple of new things, some like mostly just basic tops, maybe like, I don't know, just comfortable tops. Because to be honest with you guys, I have so many crop tops like everything i own is a crop top right now which is great because that's mostly what i wear with like high-waisted stuff but i don't really love wearing crop tops around chad's family and i have a very few amount of non-cropped clothing so i just want to get like some basic tops that are actually full length good luck right because it's kind of hard to find that these days but i'm gonna go see what i can find dollars later i got so many new clothes you guys oh my gosh i'm so excited i got shorts tank top shirts i got two different hoodies i got some like sweat shorts that are literally the most comfortable thing in the world and this is the outlet store like i said so everything is like always on sale so i got so much for what i paid and i can't wait to show you guys i feel like i got everything that i could possibly need for vacation and then some in fact i'm probably going to return some of the other stuff that i got earlier this week and um over the holiday weekend when my sister was here i did a little bit of shopping but i like a lot of the stuff i got in american eagle better and i don't really need that many new things so i might return some stuff just 
to be reasonable. Let me give you guys another reason to judge me and haters to hate. I am literally at the nail salon. I am not proud of it. I was at the nail salon yesterday. You guys know I just got these nails done. And I am being that annoying person because I don't like them. I decided to do this like squared shape. I don't like it at all. Like I, this used to be my shape that I would always do and I just, I don't like it. I miss my round nails. Like I like having them long but I always get them like a rounded almond shape and I just, I have to go back to that. And I don't wanna go on my vacation and be stuck with nails that I don't like. So I'm about to be really annoying and go into my nail salon and ask them if they can change a shape. I'm also gonna change the color because I don't like this as much as I thought I would. And I'm just gonna basically go get my freaking nails done again. I hate that I'm doing this I hate being this person but I'm gonna pay for it so don't worry it's not like I'm getting it done for free I am going to be paying for this and it's just worth it to me because I just really don't like these nails okay I'm back and it is literally like no joke 100 degrees out I'm sweating and I was outside for like five seconds um, but I got my nails done and I decided to go back to my aesthetic nail with the almond shape and I just did these two shades of pink and I'm just really happy. I am home and Chad picked us up lunch from this local deli and I just got a turkey sandwich. It has turkey, bacon, cheese, lettuce, and tomato on it. She's over here to tell me to turn the air down. 94 degrees, 93 degrees outside. I'm cold and it's up too high. There. Okay. It's kombucha hour and they just called and said my car is ready to be picked up so I'm really quick running into the store do a return um, at Marshall's. I got a couple things that I just don't want anymore when I was shopping over the weekend because now that I went to American Eagle and Aerie I found way cuter stuff there so I'm going to return a couple things and then we're going to go pick up my car. Here is the kombucha of the day. This is Dandy Dragon Fruit. This man's drinking all my kombucha. Hey, how's the engaged life? So, uh, surprisingly, it feels a little different, like in a better way. Oh my god, I don't deserve you. You're so cute. It was kombucha hour, now it's watermelon hour. My daily watermelon. Nothing compares. I want to show you guys what I got from American Eagle. I made out really good was not planning on getting this much okay so some of this is from airy and some of it's from american eagle it is from the outlet store but some of the stuff that's from the outlet store is still online but a lot of it's not i will try to link what i can though like if it's still available online okay so i'm gonna start out with the two pairs of sweat shorts i got because this might be like the most exciting things so the first pair is actually airy and they're just basic sweat shorts you guys know my favorite thing in the world i wear sweat shorts all the time they do have pockets on the sides and then also has a little fake pocket in the back. So I got these in black. I really wanted to get these in multiple colors, but the only color that they had in my size was black. And these are the American Eagle ones that I got. These are obviously a little bit bigger as you can see. And they do have pockets on the sides, but no pocket on the back. And the waistband is a little bit chunkier. Um, super cute. But because these were bigger, I sized down in these ones. I think both of these are online so soft and comfortable like 100 percent. so excited to wear these especially like during the road trip and just like in the evenings while i'm on vacation and just like so comfy and then i got some shirts let me just get all the shirts out okay now i got a bunch of shirts so this so cute in 90s this like striped crop tank and now i literally know i said i wasn't gonna go shopping for crop tops but somehow walked out of there with four crop tops but i also found two full length shirts um but even though these are crop tops besides this one the rest of these are a decent length for a crop top they'll still line up with like high-waisted shorts or jeans or something whereas like this one it's gonna have to be really high-waisted it'll probably still show a little bit because it's pretty cropped so that's kind of how i judge my crop tops are they like super cropped like it could basically be a bra or is it like crop top like you know a short tank so this one obsessed super super cute i really like the thicker straps on it because i can actually wear a normal bra with it it's always a struggle for us girls with bigger boobs like it's nice to be able to wear an actual bra and not have to do strapless my next two shirts which i will have to wear strapless with um but this really pretty yellow tank top this was like ten dollars you guys i mean 
freaking deals i went crazy in there because ten dollars so super cute i really like the like spaghetti straps so i got that and then i got this floral tube top which i was obsessed with because it's double lined they have similar ones of these at target but they're not double lined and i like something double lined because when it is double lined like this i can possibly get away with no bra um because it's double lined so we love and then my last crop top I got was this basic little um, cropped, I don't even know, t-shirt thingy. It's ribbed and it's just gray. I thought this would look really cute with just some shorts or something. All of this is mostly just like clothes for around the cabin. When we go out, I'll be dressing a little bit cuter, but I just wanted like some comfortable basics for around the cabin um, when we're just hanging out. This top I'm obsessed with. This is from their Offline by Airy brand. I forgot to tell you guys which ones of these were. Actually, all of that was American Eagle except for those shorts. And then this is offline by Aerie and is just a size small, massive, oversized, super soft gray t-shirt that I can't wait to lounge around in. I want to wear it right now, but I'm saving all of this for vacation. I told myself I'm not going to wear it so that I can be excited about it when it's time for vacation. And then this shirt I was also really excited about, which I found on clearance. It was $20 because it was originally $40 and it was 50% off all the clearance. And it's just a full length, um, long sleeve, flowy shirt. And then it has little buttons, super cute and cozy. I thought this would be perfect with the shorts, like just this with these shorts. And then the last two things that I got, oh, three things, were, first of all, these shorts, you guys. If these are online, I'm gonna link them and you need to go get them because I'm so glad I tried them on because when I first saw these on the hanger, I saw this part and I was like, mm. you know, like most people would pass up on that. But I grabbed them because I couldn't find any other white shorts and I tried them on and I could not believe it. I like these better than any of the other shorts that I tried on the normal like denim shorts. The fit is so cute because they're like, so even though the back is stretchy, they're not like, they don't look like paper bag shorts. Um, the front looks like a true normal pair of shorts. They're so comfortable. And these are actually from Airy. Airy makes denim shorts now. I mean, if you consider this a denim short, it is kind of weird with this part in the back, but like, they're so comfy. So I got that. And then this was probably like my favorite find of all, this green hoodie thingy. It's an extra small and it is like huge. I'm obsessed with the oversized trend of everything right now. So I love this. Oh my gosh. It just like has these ties going up. Reminds me of something that I almost got for Sun Style. And then the last thing I got is this oversized golden yellow hoodie that I can't wait to wear. It is humongous and just so soft and comfortable. And this was also on clearance for literally $39.99 and it was 50% off. So I got it for 20 bucks. Love it. That's everything I got. It was a great haul, unexpected. When I went to the outlet mall, I thought I was gonna go in multiple stores to try to find like a couple of different things and then I found everything I wanted plus more in there. So I did really good and I'm very happy about it. There is the biggest pile of laundry on the floor, still in the laundry basket that I have been putting off for days. So I think I'm gonna go through that and fold it. I have all this clean laundry just sitting in there <laughs> waiting for me to do something about it. Um, but I know by now this vlog has to be really long, so I am going to end it here so that way I can edit and get this uploaded ASAP. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for an engagement video where I'll tell you guys all about the engagement and answer questions. Really hoping I can do that with Chad. Um, and most likely I will gather questions from you guys on Instagram, so make sure you're following me on there. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.